Brandon, when you call up a prospect like Norby, can it provide a spark at this point? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, you know, we saw Norby earlier in the year. He got a you know, big homer for us in Toronto. Hopefully we can just swing the bat well in, in, in Norfolk, and hopefully that translates up, up here into the big leagues. Have you gotten any clarity on what kind of timetable you're looking at with Jorge? No, it's, uh, it's going to be a while. Um, you know, right now he's it's it's so swollen and sore that they're going to kind of take some time trying to get the swelling out. And then he's going to you're going to get some second opinions, and we're going to have some of the doctors take a look at it. But uh, you know, it's going to be a significant amount of time. It's too soon to know if you've ruled in or out a procedure for that. For Jorge. Yeah, too soon. To, too soon. We're, they got to get the swelling out first, and then and uh, make a determination down. You know whenever they feel like this time's right. Is it a time of the year where it's very normal to battle fatigue at this point, or is that just a convenient excuse when it's been going bad? A little bit of an excuse right now for me, yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, if you're Gunnar Henderson, you might have some fatigue. You didn't have an all-star break, and but we're just, we haven't played very well. And that's, uh, yeah, the rest of the league has the same schedule we have, and, and we need to pick it up a little bit. You guys have one of the highest rates of hitting the balls to the opposite field in the league this year, particularly over this stretch that the offense has kind of struggled. Does that kind of tell you that the process is still good and you kind of have to wait for the results, or do you think there's a major change that, that might need to be made? No, I think uh, – yeah, I didn't know that stat. I, I, I think we have a bunch of guys right now that are kind of grinding offensively. And um, – I know, I know the process is good. Our work is great. Uh, I think we're in a, in a good place mentally, but uh, we're just when you're not getting the results offensively you're looking for, then sometimes there's some you put some stress on yourself. You put some pressure on yourself, uh, and I think we're kind of we've been going through that for a few weeks. Brandon, it's already a very young team you have that you put out every night. But if things don't get turned around quickly, will the team have to consider looking more to some of the AAA guys who we've been talking about for weeks? Well, this game's already hard enough. I mean, you get, you know, we're in, we're in first place. So uh, to get younger, I, I don't know. Um, you know, that's the, the, that roster, those roster questions are more directed toward, to Mike. Me and Mike have conversations about our roster constantly. Uh, but we'll see what happens here at the deadline, too. So I think it's, a lot of things can happen this week. Is that a silver lining for you, how other teams are not playing well either in your division? Well, we're really fortunate. I mean, we've gotten lucky that, that um, you know, we're not playing our best baseball in either, you know, either some of the other teams in our division. So fortunate and unfortunate. You know, we, we wish we were playing better so we could could extend the lead a little bit right now. But, um, you know, hopefully today we turn it around a little bit. Going into last night, were you looking at it as it was potentially going to be a one-start deal this time for Chase? That was the plan going into yesterday, but we also have some other things coming up where we have, we have a doubleheader Toronto. It's all sorts of – we're going to need Chase again, and I'm, I would expect to be fairly soon. So, uh, uh, you know, made his debut last night, and, and uh, probably see him soon.